I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing great. Got a finally good video on the Delarnum. Actually tried to figure this out and I think I believe I understand the play style now. This is how I play it. Hope this video helps you guys. It's about tech tactics, techniques, and procedures. But again, before we begin, thank you all for those who have supported the channel on our way to 900 subscribers. And we cannot thank you guys enough for all the support, the fun, the community as well as has having a blast doing this about learning about shooting ships sailing ships tactics and ex executions and how to win games and having a great blast or having a blast that is of building the community and having a great time so anyways uh this is the larna as you can see pushing into alpha cap right here now again i'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the pros and cons about it and how we play and how i use a lot of the tactics and strengths of the delarna in order to maximize your efficiency the first thing is, you notice I didn't rush the cap because one, although we have a 6.1 concealment, which is very, very good, I believe, we don't have hydro, we don't have radar, we don't have anything that really gives us an advantage, and the guns aren't as fast enough to do a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, and our HP pool is not up there like other destroyers. We have 24,000, but again, I've seen destroyers rocking a 28 to 30,000 HP, so especially the fact that we don't have the fast firing gun reload we're a big hunky ship we don't have the hp it doesn't warrant us to push in and go one-on-one -on -one with a, a destroyer in an alpha cap with now with the dispersion of just cruisers and battleships i don't know what's going on but hey let me know what you think about the comments below did they buff the shooting ability on destroyers or something because lately i've noticed I've been taking some massive shots from battleships from way in the back. I've got some good, not crazy hits from uh, cruisers. Uh, and it just seems like, man, it just seems a lot easier these days to hit a destroyer, especially at range and distance from bigger, bigger ships and bigger caliber guns. And it used to, didn't, it didn't feel like that way at least, where I could literally get a nose in or nose away or kite away. And it was really difficult uh, for people to hit me and as well as I could be able to juke shots like I'm doing right now. Just throw, moving the throttle back and forth just like this Yamagiri's doing, running away, angling away, but look, I'm still hitting him. I don't know, again, I'm not the greatest shot, but it just seems like, man, there must be some kind of buff lately that just makes it easier to hit destroyers because people are probably getting fed up with uh, us capping the thing, doing what we were supposed to do. Anyways, launching torpedoes out into the distance against the Colombo and the Georgia. Uh, two sets of five, just like Holland. They're really uh, Holland torpedoes out to 15 kilometers. Our guns only have 11.2 kilometer range, so we're not the greatest greatest gunboat i would think i mean the zorky can reach out to 13 something uh we've got claber marceau reaching out longer distances than we do so we're not the greatest gunboat destroyer look we take a hit right there my gosh that was from long range distance i have no idea where that came from but we it reset us now we have to stay in the cap a little bit longer you know exposing ourselves longer putting ourselves subject to torpedoes a little longer so a, a lot of things that we got to deal with and that's why i'm putting my ass in backwards right now and be, giving myself the ability to run away now see somebody's capping uh, the uh, cap with us again which means they're they're contesting it which means we can't cap now i, I basically have to use, sit here gunboat this thing out or i'm gonna have to run away so now we're radar so again another disadvantage of here not having enough uh, ships we're getting radar we're getting shot at everybody's looking at us and so we got to get out of dodge okay so we're going to hit the speed boost we're out of here speed boost is only last about two minutes 
Now here's the shining part about the Dalarna. We have good gun angles. You see how I'm kiting away and the guns are still able to maximize firepower on this Columbo. We're gonna keep pouring on the hate on the Columbo right now and see if we can get him out of the game. Analyze the mini map while you're doing this. Like figure out where's my next target, where am I going in the next? We have the middle team pushing Charlie right there and we also have the western flank collapsing and we got our submarine and let's see if we can knock out this Columbo that would help us out a great deal and boom splash one RIP back to 40 we take down one first kill of the day and we're gonna see if we can continuously hold off this onslaught on the west side right here George is gonna try to push in but we're also getting shot at since we've uh, revealed our position everybody wants to shoot at the alarm today and we also got the gearing we're gonna open up on him we've got about a two second reload we outgun him and just look at the amount of shells we're pouring on now look at this boom 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 we're taking hits right there we're hitting him we're hitting him at distance we're at 10 and a half kilometers which is a stretch for a, a, a dd and we're still hitting him he's not changing his directions he's not moving he's not becoming unpredictable we're still hitting him good so he is probably going to go off the um the detection here and we're gonna see if we can knock out as much damage as we can off him it'll pay great dividends later on because i know a gearing doesn't have a heal but we do so let's see if we can get him out okay he goes down we take out our zf2 now the georgia is running away the gearing is also pointed towards our direction that is a good thing to know on the mini map because i'll give you guys a little tip here human beings and human nature typically take the path of least resistance so what's the gearing most likely going to do is he going to drive towards us or is he going to drive back to the north away from us more than likely if the gearing is trying to win He's already pointing in our direction, so we're going to head and cut him off at that direction as well and aim right at him because I know I outgun him. I out, uh, I have more HP than him, and that, that way I can take this one-on-one. -on -one. So you got to pick and choose your battles. We're going to go ahead and launch our spread of torpedoes at the uh, Georgia. Hopefully we get a lucky hit. Uh, 86 knot torpedoes, 15 kilometers. Uh, not the greatest damage, but when you get 10 of them uh, into your side, it hurts a lot. So... Let's reassess the minimap. Again, what is the one lessons I, I talk about? Reassess, look at the minimap, look at the minimap, look at the minimap. Where does your team need you? Listen to your team, communicate, figure out where do they need the most damage at, who is suffering, who is weak, and uh, who needs help, basically. And that's what I do. So I got to come back around once I take out this gearing and uh, reassess to take on the middle team. But right now we got to take out this gearing. I think he's still pointed at us, is he? Yes, he is. See, human nature. Most likely, he's still pointed at us. We're going to take this advantage. It's great to have a nose-in DD. He's committed, and we're going to go ahead and aim right at his midsection, right at the uh, main superstructure right there, because hopefully you knock out his torpedoes. We don't want... There it is. We just knocked out his torpedoes. We don't want any straight torpedoes coming away. And boom, splash two, outgunning the gearing, running away. Not after he takes about, you know, another 10K damage off of us. We're going to go ahead and run away, heal, and nose away, nose away, just in case he launches the torpedoes. We're not sure. Okay. So reassess minimap, 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 minimap. Look at the minimap and figure out where does your team need you. Looks like as a destroyer, you got to do everything. So you got to basically run to the, where the emergency is. We're like the police, firefighter abilities all in one in the game. And now we're going to go back to the middle and support the middle team because they are, it looks like they're getting destroyed by just two battleships up the middle. Launch a spread in here so we can make sure that... Um, you know, hopefully we knock something out because we got to get this Western flank under control. It's just us and the Marco Polo. I don't think the Marco Polo is making a wise decision going in against a submarine, a cruiser, and a destroyer all by himself. But again, this is your game. You guys can play it how you want it. I'm just trying to help the team and support to see if we can get a victory here. Okay, it looks like we've got 11 minutes in the game. 37,000 damage, two kills down right now. We're going to sew ahead. We're not going to cap alpha again. Remember, we, we have to reassess where do they need us and w what can we do to maximize our, our damage output and the Larna. The weak thing about the Larna is the, also the, the, uh, the, the, what's it called, ASW, which is anti-submarine warfare. The, tor the depth charges launch to the forward of the bow. And that's hard to hit a, a submarine. I don't, I don't know who or I don't know what you're going to say, but it is hard to hit a, a submarine these days. And I think it's uh, pretty much overpowered, broken submarines. Uh, I'll show you a video maybe later about how I was trying to run over a submarine just to try to kill them. Uh, it's almost not fair. There's no counterplay. Look, there's a flash on the surface there. I get hit by a ping. I'm looking away. I have no idea where that's coming from. Nowhere to counter that. I have no depth charges that can reach them. My guns can't reach them. My torpedoes can't hit them. What more can you do? It's broken. I, I, I think subs are stupid. Uh, it just doesn't make sense uh, for you to give a uh, counter offensive a tactic or sorry, an offensive weapon that you can't counter. What, what's the point of that? Then? You might as well just play a tactical nuke and end the game. 
Uh, but anyways, I'm going to stop ranting on that. But I, we have to run away. We cannot take on a destroyer, a, a submarine, a battleship, and a cruiser all at the same time. And that's why Marco Polo over there on the west is on his own. I'm sorry to probably won't survive it. We're going to go ahead and run the middle. At least we have an advantage at the middle. Let's pick our advantage, choose our battles, and see if we can uh, maybe tip, tip this battle into our favor. Again, minimap, minimap, where are we at? Let's see here. Pros about the uh, DeLorean like I want to talk about is the fast firing guns. We're going to show you right here. So everybody's focused on this John Bart right now. We've got the guns down with Fearless Brawl down a 1.7 reload. That's awesome. If you can get a 1.7 reload on three guns, this is pretty, pretty incredible amount of firepower you're putting in there. Look at that right there. Melting the John Bart right there. This is exactly why I like the gunboat build because you are such an effective player on the battlefield. All while torpedoes are causing him to nose away. And we're going to see if we can knock him out of the game. That'd be really, really crucial. We get him. He takes torpedo and boom, goes down with torpedoes from the Shimakaze. And that is another kill for our team right there. We are leveling the playing field out. They're still up seven ships to R5. And uh, we have more destroyers, though. Destroyers, I always say, win the game. So keep your destroyers alive. You'll probably have a better uh, time winning games that way. Anyways, let's shoot the Masashi right here. And uh, watch. I'm going to show you guys how much of a threat we can become. When the Musashi has three targets to shoot at, but he chooses to shoot us. That's what you want to be in World Warships. You want to be the guy that everybody shoots at because you are the biggest threat on the battlefield. So as soon as I see the, uh, the Musashi fire at us, I'm basically going to nose away. Yep, and see, I'm going to nose, I'm sorry, nose in. And he misses us. Oh, he still takes a hit on us. But every time he shoots, immediately turn into him, and that mitigates the damage as best we can against his guns. He's got a decent reload right now, so let's see if we can anticipate another shot, all while burning down this Musashi, which I know melts, there. they melt very, very easily. It's a little sister ship to the Yamato. Let's see here, can we get another fire on him? He fires, immediately turn hard left. Hard left, hard left, hard left, and ouch, still take a hit, but we mitigate damage. The Delarna does not turn very, very well. This, the European DDs turn like a slug. They are really, really bad at maneuverability. You're going to nose in right here because we can't have take another shot from him. We're going to see if we can maximize these gun angles and see if we can knock out the Musashi. He goes down for the count. Ooh, we're getting taken shots from the Georgia as well. So we're going to have to turn away. We go undetected. Now our priority is to hold Charlie Cat. And there's another sub ping. I have no idea where that's coming from. Again, we're going to have to stay away from that destroyer. We have no counter offensive against him. So we're going to go ahead and actually try to spot the Georgia to our Puerto Rico. And Shimikaze can take on our Z-52 to the northeast. We'll hopefully hold off the other cruiser up there. So our priorities right now, again, this is a four, to four versus five right now. Our priorities are to kill the destroyer and take out this George right here. And hopefully we can, by killing him, get some points back and maybe, maybe, uh, hopefully save this game. All right, so we're taking a look. All right, George is going to drive in, nose in at us. So my anticipation is we're going to use the island cover. I don't think he's going to drive at the islands. I figure he's going to drive straight out the Puerto Rico to mitigate damage. So we're going to see if we can shoot some torpedoes right at his nose. Most battleship players, there's a tip right here, most of the time they're going to nose into the torpedoes because they want to dodge, right? Uh, unless you really just catch somebody off on their day. This tactic really works really well. I've noticed that. Now look at, look at, look at where he's turning right. He's turning slowly towards us, which means I'm going to probably just shoot right at him. Let's see if I shoot right at him. That should be, he should be able to turn right into my torpedoes. Okay, then we're going to use our gun uh, DPM uh, um, uh, advantage here. We outgun and out uh, DPM the destroyer over here. We're going to see if we can start a fire. There's one fire right there. Delarn is great at starting it with a great DPM. And there we go. We have the Yamagiri who elected to shoot at us, which he didn't have to. But because we're such a juicy target right now with a low HP, he decides to open fire on us. George is out of the game for us. He's going behind an island, which means he can't shoot us. We have an advantage here. Ooh, sub ping goes again. Bad idea for the Yamagiri. He's going driving into us with our improved gun angles and DPM ability. We're starting to shoot at him, and oh, he goes undetected. So we got the yeah, Georgia coming at us. We're going to see if we can start another fire. Yamagiri, look at the minimap, minimap. Always look at the minimap, figure out, hey, he op elects to open fire and reveal his position because he thinks he can kill us with 800 HP left. But guess what? We have the last laugh. Look at the DPM here. He is not changing speed or direction. He's becoming way too predictable, and that's something you got to learn. Be unpredictable against a gunfight. Man, look at this. Boom. Hits 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 oh my goodness and now he decides oh my gosh we're getting melted he's gonna slowly turn away but not after our dpm just outmatches him 
Splash three, RIP back to Porter. Yamagiri goes down. We continuously angle. We continuously throttle Juke. See if we can get away from this Georgia right now. Launch a nice spread against the Georgia, both front and behind the indicator. Just so hopefully he turns in or slows down. We have shots in the air. We turn away, slam on the brakes right there. See, it's always, always, always be unpredictable. So we're going to open fire, see if we can melt down 19,000 HP off this Georgia. Can our, our uh, DPM outmatch the Georgia right now with torpedoes inbound? He fires to the rear thing, and we're going reverse. Again, be unpredictable. We're going to constantly shoot. Gun, improve gun angles. Look at these gun angles. Really, really good. Really, really good. So we see we melt them down. These are looking good. These torpedoes are looking. He notices them. He slowly turns away. Will this be enough to end the game for us? And boom! Lucky shot. Splash four. RIP back to Porty. We take out a Georgia. We now go undetected. Ooh, that could have been very, very painful. And we dodge sub pings as well. We're down to 500 HP, guys. My gosh, was this a sweaty, sweaty palm game. Everybody in the cat, chat is going, oh my gosh, hell yeah, Delarna, wow, Delarna. Yeah, I mean, my God, look how much effort we had to put in. I feel like we are putting an overtime here on these games, but the Delarna, if we were a super ship, really, we would have an extra three to 5,000 HP remaining to survive. That's why I don't believe Delarna is good at doing what I just did right there. It literally takes RNG and just pure darn luck in order you for you to survive and maximize the firepower. But anyways, that's how we win the game. I mean, I'm just going to park on the island and slowly win the game. So that's how you do it. And Lauren, let me know what you think about the comments below about the video we just did and the tactics and procedures that we talked about. But those are the pros and cons of the Lauren. Let me know again what you think. We're on our way to 9 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. Like, subscribe, bell button below. And that is how we play the game. And that's how we play Delarna. Until next time, we will see you guys soon. You guys stay safe and happy holiday season. Take care. Cheers.